so that is the uh that is the battle that is the situation at the end of the battle and i really should come up with a name for these battles when whatever scenario i'm playing i should um, whatever battle i'm playing as a miniatures game with dba or whatever i should give it a name um first so at least i can have some sort of a theme as some notion as to where it was as we said this uh, this scenario is you know in a sort of geometric way is uh based on um salamanca with uh the uh french force attacking a small british force but then being attacked in the flank itself um so now we step back and perhaps have some thoughts about uh one hour war games this is the second battle i've played um and also um about one, one hour war games in general but also about this particular battle what might have been done different in this battle one thing i had considered uh, as i was playing this is i i had thought well what if i get to a point where i decide well let's let's just see what might happen and and uh what could have happened and instead of at this point saying the battle is over uh i could say and that at this point, French reinforcements magically appear coming up the road. So if we give it some thought, though, <clears throat> um, I wonder how many more French units would have to appear as reinforcements at this point for the French to have a decent chance of still winning the scenario. Now, this is not, of course, the same as saying, um, I wonder if the French had had these units in addition at the beginning of the scenario. That's not what we're talking about. So we're talking about... If reinforcements showed up now, how many units of, uh, of what would they need to be able to exit three units off the north, that's up there, um, edge of the battlefield? Well, the thing to consider is that the, the French um, infantry, the remaining French infantry unit down here, um, let's put it this way, can take five more hits and the French uh, chasseurs can take two more hits. So they're hanging on by a very, very um, slender thread. They can take five more hits. Um, so that means that if we look at the French chasseurs here, um, in their next turn, if they, they can't exit off the road in the next turn, it's too far away. It would take them two turns to get there. So if they move towards it, they're going to be fired on again by the artillery, which, of course, the artillery can have complete misses, and that artillery would turn to face them as well. And then, um, let's see, so they would move, they'd be fired on by the artillery, and ah, but then they'd move off. So, yeah, they would only have to be fired on by the artillery once. But the artillery could, the best it can do is get four hits. The, the artillery definitely could eliminate them by firing on them once. Um, this unit then, there's a lot more going on, it's a lot further away, but it's a long way away, so it has to march up the road, so it's going to be fired on by the infantry, it's going to be fired on by the artillery, so it looks like there's a good chance that the chasseurs would be eliminated before they got off the, uh, uh, the, uh, northern edge, and it looks like they would be as well, so, um, both those units would probably be destroyed. It's not like, well, one of them would probably make it off and maybe if they had some reinforcements, that would help. They would they would almost certainly both be destroyed. Um, and so therefore, the only way really they could the French could get three units off the north uh, edge of the battlefield, would they'd have to be units that haven't even set foot on the battlefield yet. So they would need reinforcements to the tune of, well, at least three units from what I can see. Now, you could say, well, what if the three reinforcements came on and immediately started pounding the British so that the British couldn't eliminate the French units that are already in play? Well, they have only got two points left, so they are um, they can only lose two more points, so they're, they're almost gone. Um, they can hang on, I suppose. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It would take significant French reinforcements at this point to be able to have any hope of exiting three of them up there off the north edge of the road okay so um let's take a pause here